Hey there, terrific teachers and techies out there. Today I want to talk a little bit about questions I've been receiving a lot about, and that is students who are working at home and working on mobile devices. Getting a lot of uh, emails about students that uh, can access maybe Google Classroom, but then cannot access a document that they need to work on. So there's a couple things that could be happening here. First of all is uh, you do need specific apps uh, on tablets. So if you're working with a Google Doc, you do need the Doc app. If you're working with Google Slides, you need the Slides app, Google Classroom, Drive, specific apps for each one. And then with that, you need to be signed into those apps. So I'm going to show you here what can happen sometimes when uh, tablets or phones are being used at home and maybe there's multiple users that are using that device and it's and it could be causing a bit of conflict between the accounts that the users are signed in on. All right, so I wanna talk a little about here how having a Google app signed in under multiple accounts where that can cause some conflict between all those user accounts. So I'm gonna go into my drive just to show you here. And in my drive, I can click up top where my photo is and that shows that I'm signed in under a specific account. But also underneath it down here, you can see that I have other accounts that I am logged into. And I can simply tap on any one of these accounts and it brings me into that account. So as you see now, I'm signed in under this one here, which is called Tilt, in my drive. But at the same time, I can go over to my Google Docs and I could click up top of those three lines there. And now you can see I'm signed in under my personal account. So sometimes this can happen where a student could be signed in, uh, let's say in Google Classroom for you, under their account, you have something posted there, and maybe they have to work on a doc or a slide or whatever it might be. And then when they go to the doc app, they're not actually signed in as themselves, they're signed in under someone else. And when they're trying to access that doc you have posted, it's saying that maybe it cannot be found or there's an error of some sort. So this is where you will have to go in and just make sure you're clicking under the appropriate account, make sure that they're signed in and they're ready to use the app that is needed.